It's a little bit tight. So are you with Hold your breath. You with the <laughs> We're coming through. <laughs> so we've just been coming down a road and there's a bridge with what a height barrier on it Diverge. because we've been diverted and there's a height barrier um, which is taller than taller than Trudy. So um, we need to find another route. We are Marianne and Chris, and we have been travelling since May 2018. After six months of preparing ourselves and our 15-year-old camper van called Trudy, we set off on the 4th of January 2020 to attempt to drive her and ourselves all the way around the world. And in this episode, we continue our journey south arriving near the city of Lyon, where we meet up with some old friends who show us their local area. He's not gonna make it through there. Yeah. Oh, he is. He is, but he hasn't got any solar panels. Or an awning. Or an awning That's or anything quite on close. It's very close. No, no, don't do it. There's another van that just went under the barrier, but it's a little bit close. Well, it hasn't got any solar panels yeah. or anything on or the Or an road. awning or anything. Or jacked up suspension. So we need to try and find another way across the river. So Google Maps, you're coming in. What will be funny is if we've got to go back through that. We've got to go, we've got to go back After past the lorry. Yards. We're back at the lorry again. It's not good. Professional driver. It's green light, go, go, go. Mount the pavement, baby. The car has to mount the pavement. Yards, turn left, then Beautiful. sharp left. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, that's not so bad. So the alternative road is closed as well. We've come about two miles down the river. We just keep going, we have to go up there and along. Okay. I'm giving directions. Okay. So we've come out of the town with, uh, for a couple of miles and we've managed to turn right which is taking us back towards the river and the town uh, where there is a second bridge. We're not supposed to be getting lost in France, it's Mongolia that's supposed to be hard. Go figure. Okay, there should be another bridge around the corner. If there's a height barrier on it, <laughs> we're going to have a problem. Oh, it's a bigger bridge. Ooh, it's a pretty bridge. bridge. We're over the bridge. Woo! We continued driving southeast towards the city of Lyon, taking in all the beautiful French countryside along the way. making time to stop off and admire some of the local villages en route. And on the way we were treated to the most beautiful unusual sky. A rainbow effect unlike anything we had ever seen before. It wasn't the normal curved rainbow that you normally see. It was an area of rainbow colours. As we continued driving, you could see the changing landscapes from flat farmlands to more mountainous areas. So we've arrived near Vera's house and we're actually stopping to get a SIM card because one of the beauties of posting on social media and YouTube is you need data and our SIM card from the UK is uh, soon runs out. So we're gonna go and try and find, there should be a free 
um, SIM card machine. Not in, free. Free, as in the SIM card company. The mobile company is called free. So we're going to go and see. There should be a machine in this shop, and then we'll try and figure it out, and we'll let you know how we get on. What's that? Turn it on. Perfect. Voilà. Okay, so there is a free machine in here. So now we just need to figure out how it works. Luckily, Marianne speaks French. I think if you don't speak French, it may be slightly complicated. I think you have to have um, a residential address as well, French residential yes, address. Do. So I'm using my sister's. Thank you very much, Ali. <laughs> it's got to be that one. Veuillez vérifier. Bonjour. Oh, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Yes. We're, we're YouTubers and we need to buy a new SIM card. Oh. On, oh. Est, on, a une, on tient une chaîne de YouTube, on a besoin d'acheter un SIM pendant qu'on est en France. Adresse mail, mm -hmm. carte bancaire. Continuez. Yes. Uh, 100. That one, isn't it? Is that 100 gigabytes? Yeah, it is. That's the one, yeah. Do you want to do a month or do you want to do unlimited? Uh, for, forever. Yes. Um, but it would work in the whole of Europe, wouldn't it? Yeah, ça marche en tout dans le monde. Choose the telephone number. Anyone. Doesn't matter. Uh, confirm me. Oh, you have to tick the box. Oh. Uh, you must tick here. Uh, so you accept the conditions and you cancel it online, I Thank think, you. when you've finished. Okay, so now you pay with your card. Okay. You pay and you get the card. Oh, okay. perfect. This seems yeah. too easy. <laughs> yes. yeah. Merci, monsieur. Yeah, merci. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Yay. You got it. Okay, so that worked. We are armed with a 100 gigabyte a month SIM card. And um, we've done it monthly. So it will continue to go because I think it's valid for the whole of Europe. And then you just go online on the free website to cancel the SIM card when we hit when we leave Greece. So we should be good. So that's amazing. So we've got to make sure we keep the receipt safe. Right, so now on to Vera's. We've just pulled over because Marianne wants to go and say hello to a couple of lovely horses. <laughs> Bonjour! No, it's, <laughs> it's Vera! We love Vera. <laughs> we love Vera. We love oh, someone else! <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm great and you. Very good. <laughs> so, we have jumped in the car with Vera, Steve, and her son Ruben, and we are off to a nearby town which is a medieval, a medieval town that they want to show us. And you may remember, some of you, if you were watching our videos last year when we arrived in Lyon, that Vera took us on a guided tour um, of the city. So we're not gonna go into Lyon again this time. We're gonna go and check out some new places. Is that right? What's the name of the, uh, the village? It's called Perouge. Perouge. Yes, exactly. There you go. You're amazing. And I got to sit in the front because I've got long legs. So we parked up and we're just going into the town of Perouge and uh, we've got the big coats on. It's still a little bit chilly. We're heading south, but the weather hasn't warmed up yet. In fact, the wind today, uh, we're not far from the Alps. You can feel is a little bit cold. So actually, in what, we've just arrived in the medieval village and actually one of the first houses we've got to, um, it welcomes everybody in and says that there is a sharing box. So if you've got something that you want to recycle, you don't need anymore, you can put it in here and then take it and swap it or somebody can use, use whatever. So. 
What a lovely, nice community idea. Okay, so here in Perouge, they've actually been given an award and it's one of the most beautiful villages of France. So let's go and check it out. There's absolutely beautiful views you can see behind us that go on as far as the eye can see. And it's a really pretty town. So we just came across the most amazing shop. Um, so old and authentic. And when you walked in, the smell of all the essential oils, they made like these little handmade soaps and things. Really, really beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, this smells delicious. I could almost eat it. It's like Let lemon cake. It's like lemon cake. Oh yeah, wow. And Marianne couldn't resist buying a soap but Vera very naughtily paid for it as a present. Very naughty, Vera, <laughs> but thank you very much. <laughs> and the soap, because it's natural, you can do your body and your hair in it. There's no plastic, and uh, we're gonna be using it in the van as we drive around the world. And it smells all lemony and zesty. Good job. So we've just had a look around the wonderful 15th century church and actually as we stood in the middle of this village if you just look around there is just the most amazing cobbled streets and old buildings and it is just so worth coming around it it's just so beautiful it's funny actually walking around these old this old um, village makes you feel like you're in um, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or one of the really old um, maybe Games of Thrones one of the really old sort of fantasy movies Interesting is Vera just pointed out the shop, uh, the merchants, their shutters on their windows rather than closing this way for security, they actually open this way so they could put their produce out on there and sell it and it would be protected from the rain or in this case, bird poo. <laughs> yeah, cool. So yeah, what a fascinating system. You know, you wouldn't think about it, but there is a beautiful example. We're just, we've just found a little window in um, like a little, um, it's called Galette de Perogue and um, it's like a little shop um, with, that makes this local delica a delicacy and it looks like a pizza but apparently it's got like a cream and lemon and sugar on it. So I'm going to buy a piece and see what it looks like. So it's given in this lovely piece of grease proof paper and it does indeed look like a slice of pizza. Can't really smell anything. Mm. Mm. Sweet or savoury? It's sweet, but it tastes like sweet cheesy stuff. It's very nice. It tastes like cheese, but it's sweet. <laughs> Naughty dog. <laughs> The reason she's shouting at the dog is she's put the crumbs out for the birds and the dog's just nicked them. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, try it, you try it. I want you to try it. Actually, it's a bit, it's a little bit sticky. Mm. Cheesy, isn't it? 
sweet cheesy bread. It's sweet. It's lovely. Je peux demander c'est quoi dedans? C'est du. C'est une pâte briochée avec des zestes de citron et d'orange et beurre et sucre. Ah ok. Okay, merci bien. C'est bon? Oui, c'est bon. Oui, uh, so, merci. Donc, c'est une pâtisserie cream avec uh, lemon et citrus fruits avec sugar. Donc, c'est sort of créé comme une cream cheesy um, pâtisserie cream. C'est délicieux. C'est vraiment délicieux, vraiment lovely. Et juste quand vous pensez que vous avez vu tout, c'est un anglais VW. C'était un endroit vraiment bon pour marcher à travers. Donc, si vous venez à Lyon, je vous recommande de venir ici. C'est seulement 30 minutes de route. Et oui, c'est vraiment bien. C'est vraiment bien de visiter. Et je suis sûr que ça devient très bien dans le summer. Yeah, good call to come at this time of the year. Join us on the next episode as we head into the mountains and discover some beautiful lakes. And Steve just said they actually bought us the soap because we live in a van and we smell. <laughs> <laughs>